Good evening, brothers and sisters. God bless you. I just wanted to briefly just tap into this war that's taking place in Iraq. You know, last night when I shared the video about testing those who are planning into your spirit and how you know, we need to be careful in these last days who we're allowing to bring sermons or words or prayer because the enemy's roaming around like a roaring lion. You need to understand something. All of you in this world need to understand something. We are in the last days. It is not going to get better. You could pray and pray and pray some more. It's not going to get better. The Bible said in the last days, evil will prevail. God is sending, you know, he, he warned us. You know, we, 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 we talk about reading the Bible. We say we study the Bible, but when things start to take place, we, we tend to not look at it. The Bible says in, in Matthew 24, when you see these things, when you hear of these things, faint not for the end is not yet here, but it's coming. And that gives us time to get it right, to stop focusing on the things of the world, to focus on the things of God. We have to understand that what's happening right now is in the Bible. It talks about this in, in, in the Old Testament. It talks about it in the book of Daniel. It talks about it in the book of Revelations. It talks about it in the book of Matthew, in the book of Luke. It talks about these things that are going to take place. Look at what's happened in Puerto Rico, the earthquakes, all these things that are taking place. People say, oh, but they've been happening all the time. No, they have not been happening forever. There's a lot of things that are taking place people don't understand. There's a lot of things that the Bible is allowing to come forth in this season to hopefully wake people up, to hopefully get people to go back and to getting closer to God. I just wanted to share that because I was looking at the news and then there was this uh, lady that posted about prayer. We need to pray. Yes, we can pray. We can do all that. But God said these things would take place. We need to really, really focus on that and really, really be mindful of these things that are taking place right now because they was told to be taking place. I just want us to understand that. When we read the Bible, when we study the Bible, it talks about the, the things that are taking place now. The reason that we need to, the Bible says, for those of us who are following Christ, we're, we're joyful because we know that our Lord is coming back. We know that the end is almost here. We know that these things are coming to pass. We stay focused on what we're supposed to do. We stay plowing to the ground. We stay bringing people to salvation. We keep doing what God has called us to do. I just wanted to tap on that because a lot of people are caught up on the 49ers, caught up on, on the weather, caught up on all these things. But the Bible says that in these, to beware of the signs. It says to beware of the signs of the things that are happening. So I'm just wanting us to understand. We need to stay prayed up and geared up because I truly believe that we are in those last days. We are in those times of testing. You know, the Bible says that God will separate the wheat from the tares. When he says he's going to separate the wheat from the tares, you know, we got a lot of people proclaiming to be Christians, but their lifestyle and their character and everything about them is not really Christ-like. God said, I'm going to separate them. That's why he talks about when the, the, the seed that's so uh, grown on the on the on the thorny ground that is growing up with the thorns. But he says, don't separate that yet, because you could kill the good weed. He says he's going to bring that separation between the weed and the tares, and he will cast those into outer darkness that need to be cast into outer darkness. So, the reason that I'm saying this again is because we need to stay focused on all the things. Things that are happening in Iraq, Israel, the Holy Land, all those things, that's where God said these things were going to take place. We need to stay very mindful of that. So I just wanted to share that. No drawn out message, no Bible study, just to make us understand this is the season we are in. Our Lord is close by. 
We need to really stay so connected to the word, so right on, just, we just got to. It, it's, you know, the way I look at it is that it's about saving souls. It's about proclaiming Jesus Christ. It's about walking out this Bible. The, the Lord said he's going to come back for a church without spot or wrinkle. He wants us to be out there saving souls. He wants to look down from heaven and say, I know who I'm coming to get. And so, again, I can start preaching, but I don't want to. So anyway, God, I ask that you just touch my brothers and sisters who are staying the course, who are keeping their foot to the plow, Lord God. Those of us that are fighting a good fight of faith, those of us who are staying right, Father God, walking in righteousness, walking in, in the liberty that you've given us to be Christians, not allowing the world or, or any of its worldly ways to overtake us or overshadow us, Lord, but that our light would shine and it would be so shine so bright that it would give other Christians the the the, the boldness to shine their light even brighter so that other people could come to the so to the uh, forefront. You said in your word, Heavenly Father, that there would be many coming to you and you would say to them, get away from me. I never knew you. Those of you who practice lawlessness, you said in your word, who is your, your mother and your brother, but those who do the will of the Father, be doers of the word and not hearers, only deceiving ourselves. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Let us continue to walk in faith not by sight. God bless you, brothers and sisters.